video we are going to solve a problem on how to determine the transfer function of a system using the block diagram reduction technique so let's see the question So this is our question and we have to find out the transfer function of the system represented by the block diagram and we have to use the block diagram reduction technique for this. So let's solve this question. If you see this block diagram then you can see that these two blocks G2 and G3 they are connected in parallel combination so we can reduce these two blocks into a single block having the transfer function g2 plus g3 so let's apply this parallel combination rule So after applying the parallel combination rule, we are getting the transfer function of the block as G2 plus G3. Now if we see this G2 plus G3 and H1, they are forming a feedback loop. So if we apply the feedback rule in this loop, then we can reduce this portion of the block diagram. So apply the feedback rule. The feedback rule says that the transfer function of the resultant block will be G2 plus G3 upon 1 minus H1 and multiplied with G2 plus G3. Minus sign is there because H1 is having minus sign here so it is a negative feedback loop. So the transfer function will be We are having minus sign so we will get plus sign here and then we will have 1 plus H1 G2 plus G3 because it is the negative feedback loop so for this we have the rule that the feedback rule says that it is 1 GS upon 1 minus plus GS H's. Okay, so whenever we have 
positive sign, we take negative here. And whenever we have negative sign, we take positive here. So we are taking positive in this transfer function. And the feedback loop is same for the sum point. Now, these three blocks G1, G2 plus G3 upon 1 plus H1, G2 plus G3 and G4, these three blocks are in series. So, their transfer functions will be multiplied. So G1 multiplied with G2 plus G3. So all these three transfer functions, they are multiplied with each other. Now, this block and this block H2, they are forming a feedback system. So we can apply the feedback rule. And this is a negative feedback. So let's reduce this further. We will get this is CS, this is the input RS. And because this is forming a feedback loop, so it will be. Apply the same GS upon 1 plus GS HS. Put the value of GS as this. So it will be G1 and G2 plus G3, G4 upon 1 plus H1, G2 plus G3 divided by 1 plus we have h2 in the feedback see h2 is there in the feedback so here we will get h2 so we are having this 1 plus h2 and then this transfer function will be here g1 So this is how, uh, this is the transfer function. Let's simplify it, solve it further. When we solve it, we will get G1, G4, G2 plus G3. This denominator term, because it is present in both the numerator and denominator so it will be cancelled out and we will get 1 plus h1 g2 plus g3 plus and we know that the transfer function, it is the ratio of the output and the input and CS is the Laplace transform of the output and RS is the Laplace transform of the input signal. So if we take the ratio that is CS by RS, it will be equal to G1, G4, One plus H one G two plus G three plus H two G one G four G two plus G three. So this is our answer, and 
This is the overall transfer function of the block diagram which is given to us in the question. So in this way you can solve a block diagram using the block diagram reduction technique. I hope this question is clear to you. Thank you.